So we were talking about SAP installation on the board. Then uh, we installed uh, Oracle database application after that. So now we are going to install the central instance. So I started the program in the master DVD, SAP inst program. And I got a screen like this. Let me go to SAP systems because I am going to install a system central instance after installing Oracle. I select the components which I want to install in the NetWeaver. So I am selecting here as of now only EP and other ones. And during the installation, SAP is going to create a lot of uh, a few system users and Oracle database user and also Java users and uh, SAP ABAP users. It's asking for the location of this DVD. So let me show. I have copied all the DVDs in the hard drive in a directory called ECC, EC. And then I will go to NW Java and my uh, the requested CD is here and there is a file called label AAC under this so the computer is going to read that file the installation program is going to read this file it's asking for the seed I already decided on the seed so the seed is DV1 and I'm going to install in E drive because C drive doesn't have enough space so must make sure that the drive has enough space. Checking the values. So now it's asking for the password for all the master users like uh, SAP, SAP system users like SAP star, DDIC and also operating system users, database users, all the web users in SAP, not Java users. Java users I have to give the password during the installation. So I will give the password. The password is open book one. It should have one number. So it's checking everything. If I want, I, I can give separate passwords for system user and service users by SAP. It's asking for the database ID, which I created. I installed the database application some time ago. So I gave the same ID. So I will say DB1. Continue. It's connecting to the database. So now it's asking for the export CDs. First it will ask for the first export CD, then it will ask for the last fifth one, then it will ask for the second, third and fourth. So I will show the first one. First one is under this and exports. There is label ASC somewhere here. So I say OK. Continue. It's asking for the fifth one. We go to the fifth uh, same thing, same directory. Go to the fifth one. Fifth one. Select that. Now it's asking for the second, third, and fourth. is asking for the solution manager key I already created solution manager key with solution manager so I will be entering this here and what I did is I went to the solution manager this is the solution manager system then I went to the product system let me show I'll go to the product system 
and then say other object then I have an option here to generate solution manager key so I generate the key there and I'm going to enter here and then press next next so I will say I'll highlight one of the systems I go to I, I like the system which I want to use I have a I have created a system called DV1 so in other object then I click on this after entering the solution manager key it's continuing made a small mistake in one character so now we went to the next screen so it's asking for the NW kernel in NW 2004 SR1 so I show that here so it's under I'm using Windows so there's a label AC file here it's not here so we have to go further down oh it's here okay so I'll go there then the Oracle client I have to copy all these DVDs in a directory a folder so I can highlight them there's a label file then I say next okay I'm not changing the download location when it's uh, unzipped when the file is unzipped so is it asking for a Java component I have not configured any SLD so that this computer can join the same SLD so I say no SLD destination if I say there is SLD destination it's going to ask me questions about the system landscape I have almost given all the information so now it is giving me the summary if I want to make changes I should be able to do here so I am not going to make any changes so I will say start the installation so it's going to install SAP uh, so many modules to be installed so it takes a lot of time sometimes it may take about 10 hours 12 hours because it's an ideal system so depending on your sp depending on the speed of your machine and the memory also may take some time so if suppose the system stops on error we, we will get a log file uh, it will say that there is an error then we can view the log file and then we can go and view the detailed logs and then troubleshoot the problems that's it thank you